subscribe to Serving It Raw. In the 80s, there was a lifestyle of celebration, and Coke was part of that lifestyle. It was the glitzy drug. When crack came along, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You just tapped into Serving the Raw Podcast. I am your host, Gutter Kane, the Gutter Man, the Pyrex Iron Chef, a.k.a. Snow Biden. So I got a special guest here today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They up here doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, for the Northwest. Coming to uh, uh, ripping out there Bremerton, you know what I'm saying, That's doing that Lions Den 360. They're on a press run right now. Uh, working on was a Small City Big Dreams yeah. Volume 3, and it just dropped the That's 420 right Project right. Mm -hmm. yes, on 420. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to welcome to the Kane Room, Nick Norton. What's up? Beasy. Yeah. And then boy, do the same. Come on. Sam. Already. Uh, now, uh, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up yesterday. I'm going to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? So this, this is a blooper of a blooper. But uh, these gentlemen came through <laughs> yesterday and recorded the whole episode, man. <laughs> yeah. Gave a live episode. Oh, and no. uh, for some damn reason... I didn't uh, check the mic like I was supposed to before we started, Man. and uh, there was no sound. So I had to <laughs> get in touch with these gentlemen again. We called us and, frantic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 frantic. frantic. Hey. And uh, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, cause y'all come back and uh, they, they was they was nice enough, man, to put whatever they had aside to to come back out Man. today, so that we could get this done, so we could go up on the farm uh, tomorrow, which would be Tuesday. So mm -hmm. I'm glad to have y'all yeah. back with me again. Glad to be yeah. back again. Glad to be back. Yeah. Glad to be back. Yeah. Now, now, we know, now. Yeah, now we know where y'all house at. We comfortable. I know where. Oh, yeah. Y'all are welcome. Y'all are welcome, man. <laughs> like I said, man, like we, we tapped in. So, you know what I'm saying? Anytime y'all, like I said, anytime y'all got anything that's dropping. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And y'all want to do any, like a solo episode or whatever like that, y'all are more than welcome. For sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so, uh. But I'm gonna start over, okay? <laughs> but so, where are all three of y'all from? We're gonna start with Nick Norton first. <clears throat> all right. Uh, so my name is Nick. I'm from Bremerton, Washington. Uh, you know, moved around my whole life growing up. Uh, I was raised in a military family. My dad was in the Navy. Uh, but most of the time, I was just around Washington State and around Kitsap County area. So uh, I've been in Bremerton since I was 16 now. Uh, so yeah. All right, what about you, Beasy? Man, I'm from San Antonio, Texas, too, and know. You know what I'm saying? Texas. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm from San Antonio, Texas, man. I grew up in a military family. Also, Texas was like the last stop for when I got like old enough to not have to move around with my family when they was doing all their deployments and everything. So, like, I grew up in Texas, came into my own in Texas, and uh, I ended up out here. In Washington in 2000, at the end of 2017, and I've been here ever since, rocking with these dudes. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? All right, what about you, Jordy? Uh, I'm from here, from Burlington, from Burlington, All right. Yeah. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> my question, my next question is, how did y'all come to realize the music was a way forward for y'all? Um, <clears throat> Yeah. So when I was probably, I grew up around music in the house at all times. Uh, my mom was like a professional pianist. Yeah. They did uh, so classical music in the house and stuff. And so that was really a big influence. Okay. And my dad was into 80s rock, 80s pop type deal, 70s music. And so I discovered hip hop around like 11 or 12. And I started dropping music around then too. And that's when you like... You felt like that's what you wanted to do? Yeah. I saw, you know, videos of guys in the studio and like this dude named John Bellion who makes all his own beats and stuff. And, and Kanye really inspired me with all the college dropout. And so 
I figured, well, I can't just rap because I don't know anyone that makes beats. I don't know anyone that sings. So I got to learn how to do everything. And so, you know, I've been doing everything ever since. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, what about you, Beezy? Man, uh, I always liked writing poems. I was fascinated with, like, words and how they could, how you can say the same sentence and it sound different, you know what I'm saying, depending uh -huh. on how how you say it and with different inflections and stuff. So I was always fascinated with words and I was real good, you know, with, with talking and in front of crowds and stuff. Um, and when I started, like, writing poems and, like, writing, you know, like, my little lyrics, it was around, like, I was, like, 10, you know what I'm saying, like, 9 or 10, something like that, when I first started, like, writing little rhymes and stuff and I would let people hear it and it was better than, you know what I'm saying, they assumed it was going to be. So I was always, like, ahead of the curve where I get around people and it's like, oh, yeah, they got a studio, blah, blah, blah. I ain't never been in the studio in my life and I go in there and it was like, how long you been recording? I'm like, I haven't, you know, <laughs> this is the first thing that I did. So I realized I kind of had a knack for it. You know what I'm oh, saying? It right. was, it was kind of like a natural thing. And then I liked doing it. It didn't seem like I was quote unquote working, you know what I'm saying? Or I was okay. trying to do anything. It just seemed like we was kicking it and I was, you know, just kicking my shit and that's just how it came out. So I knew from probably about like 10, 11, I was like, some way I'm going to be involved in this some way, somehow. Oh, okay. And when, when did it come for you? Uh, it's always kind of been a part of my life just because I was born and raised in the church. Yeah. Like that's where music started for me was on the drums at like the age of two. And then seven was when my cousin started teaching me how to play keys. And then 11 is when I started like learning about production and making beats and writing and stuff. Yeah. Um, but pretty like it's always been a part of like my life like even at the house growing up i didn't have a drum set but like i was always taking like you know the equivalent of pots and pans Pens. and putting it together you know what i mean <laughs> Put so, them together, yeah. exactly that's where it all started for me but uh, music's always been like i've grown up like you know music is what i'm supposed to be doing everybody's mm -hmm. always known like jordy does music well at the time like my name wasn't jordy back then but what was it then man i went through a Plethora of names. <laughs> okay, what, what was your favorite then out of, out of the, aside from Jordy out Sims? Out of the failed, out of the failed <laughs> names. Out of the failed names. Yeah. So I'll say the longest one was Young J. And the thing that made me change that was I was watching, it, I don't remember exactly when it was and what was going on. It was 2012 Thanksgiving. And I was at my auntie's house and she had Maury on. Just on the TV, uh -huh. while I was cooking oh, and doing know. stuff. I already know what you're about to say. <laughs> and there was this group of kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was this group of kids, and there was a little kid on there, and they were going through the names of all of them. And one of the kids' names <laughs> was Young Jay. And I was like, "This isn't gonna fly." From no, <laughs> 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 but work, like bro. I was in basketball at the time, and my basketball coach was calling me Jordy Sam, just because you know I'm Jordan Samuel, my government name. Okay, yeah, I was like, yeah. That. okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, my That's basketball cool. coach ended up coming up with the name Jordy Sam. That's tight. Okay. Yeah, I got good kudos to that. Yeah. Well, hold on. So is Nick Norton your real name? Yep, Nicholas Norton. But yeah, mm -hmm. okay, damn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what about you, Vizzy? Man, I just, I didn't know what to call myself for the longest. I didn't have a name. I just was people were just calling me Vic. Um, and one of my friends had said he just started saying Vizzy, and it just kind of stuck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Catch That's how it happens. Yeah. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. got some damn kids in there. Yeah. <laughs> I fucked around accidentally and put y'all y'all shit together. Like I was talking to my wife. She was like, yeah, so who who you interviewing? I was like, yeah, I'm uh, interviewing Jordan Nelson. <laughs> 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 and I, which I feel like even though your name ain't like Norton. Right, right, right. I was thinking about the damn football player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to put the shit together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now, okay, all right. Now, tell me about uh, what, tell us about um, Lions Den 360. Like, are y'all the only artists? Or is it a, you know, y'all got like the Wu-Tang boot camp click thing going on or? I mean, we personally, how I view, I think we have, we're the, like the main, you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people that are affiliated yeah. with okay. it. But as far as, you know, the the biggest representation active. of, yeah, most biggest and yeah. the most active representation of Lion right. Gen 360 would be us three. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is there anybody that y'all kind of looking at, like maybe I'm going to bring into the fold or right now is this? Solid y'all three. All I can say is that you know you got to be able to bring something to the table. You know? I'm saying no. you got two what producers slash engineers. All three of us are singer songwriters. Singer, okay. you know I mean? And it's like we can go in the studio just us three and be able to do you know what I mean. So it's like you got to be able to bring more than just being. I personally able to don't think it's nobody that we're looking to bring in. Okay, we don't it's need it. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't trying to be funny, but we don't need anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 
I mean, like, I ain't saying that we ain't willing to collaborate and stuff, but I'm yeah. talking about to, like, bring into our look. Nah. Oh, no, nah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I we'll work with whoever, though. We we'll work with saying? whoever, though. Work with whoever. I just feel like we're set right now. We're That's so what I'm saying. Right now, we don't, we don't have a glaring weakness, I don't think. That's what's up. If somebody's yes. trying to get on for like like visuals, because I mean, we're trying to figure that out amongst yeah. us. Yeah. Oh, but I'm like, true. if somebody's got, you know, visuals that yeah, they're trying cool to do. that, but you yeah. Know, other than, you know, as far as music goes, we're. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, y'all pretty much. We got singing, we got like artists. graphic designers, you know, video yeah. guys, <laughs> photographers, really like, tap in. You know, yeah, we, need, yeah. we need you, y'all need us, let's go. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, so. I know right now y'all on the press run, so y'all been, you know, doing a lot of interviews and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So how was it working on Small City Big Dreams Part 3? And y'all, which is dropping, what, on the 29th? Yeah, this month, okay. It's Friday. And then the 420 Project. Like, was y'all working on both at the same time? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. But the Pretty much. Is, yeah. Which, one, which one of y'all like the best? Small city, small big city, dreams. big yeah. dreams. Yeah. <laughs> small city, big dreams. Four twenty is fire. It's but, fire, yeah. But I mean, it's, that, that it's, a, it's a niche thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's right. You, know, right. you gotta if, even if you didn't smoke, you can bang small city, big dreams. Exactly. So, yeah. 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 You want you want to, that's the one. Mm-hmm. That that's one's the one. crazy. There's ten songs. Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah, we found out there every song. song has got a different, you know, flavor to it. It's really showcasing like everybody because there's not just us three. There's tons of artists on there, and it's showcasing a lot of different like. Genres and flavors yeah, it, of hip hop. It's dope. Way. It came out hard. Yeah. That's okay. Right. Now, speaking of the four twenty project, how did y'all hook up with Lazy Bro for the song? <laughs> Let me. You know, yeah. So <laughs> this was back yeah. in twenty eighteen, I think. Twenty eighteen, I want to say it was. Yeah. Um, me and another artist from Bremerton at the time, we had gone down to. Oregon to open up for him mm-hmm. and we had only been able to do a couple of songs but by the time we got off stage there was somebody coming from his entourage it was like yo you guys trying to come hang out in the green room so we got to go back there and meet him and stuff that was crazy yeah, bro as soon as we walked in he had a big chain and we were both looking at it I was like yo that chain's dope and he was like thanks man easy e gave it to me for my birthday Ooh, wow wow <laughs> I didn't know that. Bro. Super, super down to earth, me, man. That's bro, cool. he's super, super down to earth. We sat Damn. in there talking about. I, I have met him. Yeah, so, you, yeah. I, I met him. Yeah, I, yeah, I, met, I met every one of them except Busy and Crazy. But go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I ain't met none of them. Super down to earth. Yeah, man. he is. He is. We really talked about down. sports for a full hour in there before he went on, and then while we were there, he was like, "Yo, we got a show in Olympia, in Olympia, like a." Two days later, so we ended up meeting his entourage out here. I can't remember where we were at. Uh-huh. We got to go on stage and stuff. That's he so was on there. Cool. He was like, uh, he wanted to be able to work with the young bucks from uh, Washington, talking about me and my homeboy and stuff. Because the way we set it off in the show in Portland before, mm-hmm. but shortly after that, we ended up uh, tapping in because his we were talking to somebody there that was representing him too, and his he was management. talking his about management. yeah, somebody on his management. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about prices and stuff for features. Okay. So uh, shortly after that, we ended up piecing it Working together. It out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, two things. A, uh, you got me beat because <laughs> I had to pay. I had to pay. Yeah. I ain't never had nobody to be like, where your ass on up in here. So mm-hmm. you got me yeah. beat during that one. Yeah. And then uh, and then for people that don't know, if you go to Spotify and uh, check out the 420 Project mm-hmm. or you purchase it on Amazon, dot com is uh he's lazy bone is on the let's smoke remix remix yes, yeah okay. produced by me yeah <laughs> everything produced by you <laughs> yeah, eighty five percent of the stuff is produced by him thank you <laughs> now uh the next thing I want to I, I want to touch on is uh your singles yeah. okay because mm-hmm. all three of y'all have put out singles you actually put out two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Today, yeah. The, the, the day y'all seeing this, if you're watching this, then it is out right now. That means you can go you listen go, to that go, go, right go, now. Go, go keep that. Finish yeah. this video, but then yeah, yeah. You know, open it a tab. You already know. You know what I'm saying? Right that's now. Odyssey. That's out today. And Down then, um, listen. Yeah, and then uh, earlier in the beginning of this month, I dropped Losing You. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now speaking of Losing You, yes, sir. All right, we're going to take a break and we're going to go check out that song. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, let's check that out, man. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
losing you was the worst thing I feel like I've been moving you to the third string I don't know how to prove to you how to work things But I know that it's stupid, I let you hurt me Cause now I'm on top Feel like, feel like I'm a king, give a fuck about a thought I ain't thinking about no ring Cop, 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 a couple of us, no more water out of sink Bitch, I'm feeling like a boss, don't care what the fuck you think, yeah Sauce it up Feeling lost, now I'm really up, pulling up What's the cost? I don't give a fuck, who are you? I don't care, give me all the smoke, make them bleed Very rare, that's the way I roll Cut some bitches off, they were telling lies Now they wanna fuck, I'm just not that guy, no Look into my eyes, you can see who I'ma roll with Why the fuck you lying, you can miss me with that bullshit Man down, all they gonna hear when I get going I'm the man now, finally got the rock, I'll never throw it Better stand out, for they try to fuck you out your Money better back down. All I give a fuck about is money. But still losing you was the worst thing. I feel like I've been moving you to the third string. I don't know how to prove to you how to work things, but I know that it's stupid. I let you hurt me, cause now I'm on top. Feel like, feel like I'm a king. Give a fuck about a thought. I ain't thinking about no ring. Cop, cop, cop a couple of us. No more water out the sink. Bitch, I'm feeling like a boss. Don't care what the fuck you think. Yeah. The devil got a hold on me now. Feel like she been holding me down I just wanna roll through the town Bitch, I run it, bitch, I run it Get the gold to me, now I win the race Every time I set the pace Face off, beat the case Get the bag, never chase Laced up, let a fuck boy Tell me what I can't do Don't tell me what I can't do There ain't nothing that I can't do Y'all Northwest, ain't nobody more fresh Living through the coldest winter on the floor Yes, broken all alone I was broken with no home Made it here with just a phone I ain't never take a loan Losing you was the worst thing I feel like I've been moving you to the third string I don't know how to prove to you how to work things But I know that it's stupid I let you hurt me cause now I'm on top Feel like, feel like I'm a king Give a fuck about a thought I ain't thinking about no ring Cop, cop, cop a couple of us No more water out the sink Bitch, I'm feeling like a boss Don't care what the fuck you think Yeah All right, so that was Losing You by Nick Norton. Now, tell me how that song came about. So I actually made that song about like two, two and a half years ago, I think. And uh, it was out like just on SoundCloud and YouTube. And then I kind of like went back and I, I remixed it, remastered it, and got it ready for streaming. And that's kind of how that came about. I made it at a time where you, know, you could hear it. I was kind of bitter. I was kind of... I'm about to ask you about that. I was a little bit, you know, I was a little, you know, upset, I was a little bit upset, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it's all it's all love to that girl and everything. But now is that gonna be on your um your album that you're dropping during the summer? No, so yeah, so I am I'm dropping uh two projects this summer. Oh damn. Two okay. EPs, you know. Sure. And then um no, one of them's gonna be kind of in that similar flavor, but it's all gonna be new stuff on the melodic okay. EP. And then on the like bar, just bar heavy the rap, hip hop EP. Um Odyssey's gonna end up on that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, but it's gonna be dope. I'm excited. Mm. I'm excited, yeah. yo. Yeah, yeah. Now you are, now the two projects that you dropping, you're not dropping them on the same day, are you? No, like a, no. Like a sweat suit, like Nelly. No, I no, thought no, about no, it. No, I thought no, about no, it, but no, they're gonna that's be. That's a really bad example. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's what I think of. <laughs> it's, it's, okay. it's sold a lot. I can't, but sweat suit, no. Come you on, know, I man. think why I think it's like if I dropped them at the same time, I think it would lose the you would take novelty away of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, like someone's gonna check. One out and not yeah, check the other one out. Not, okay. My whole thing, I want to drop. I don't know which one first, so don't hold me. But like, whatever one is first. Which one? No, which one you want to drop first? You pressure. gotta have a yeah, favorite. You can't say that. Yeah. You gotta have a favorite okay. side. Well, my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the bars first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I knew people. How long in between yeah, until you drop the next one? It's only gonna be a week or two. Oh, okay. I was gonna, so be, I was gonna say a month smart. max. No, it's yeah, gonna be yeah, like yeah. it's gonna be like next. Like week. yeah, like boom, boom. Yeah, I smart. just want that novelty because I'm gonna have the EP drop, music video from the EP, Makes EP sense. drop, music, music video, video from the EP, and so then y'all can compare and contrast which one y'all like People better. Arguing and because yeah. yeah. once you hear that first one, you're gonna be like, "There's no way this he next can one can this. sound like yeah. this." Mm -hmm. So now, how many songs did Jordy Sam produce on that? On the Boom Bap one, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. What's the percentage? 
Percentage on the other one? Damn, probably probably 100%. All of them. You heard it. <laughs> we working. We working. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, the next song I want to uh, play and present to the public is Veezy's song "Touchdown." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we finna take a break. We gonna we gonna let y'all uh, listen to that. That's this is Veezy "Touchdown." Yeah. Been like a touchdown. Been like a touchdown. Seven six and rolling. I swear this feel like a touchdown. Seven six is rolling. You know I don't do no bust now. All my niggas holding. You know I can get you touched now. Shouting in the crowd. I bet she gon' let me fuck now. Rolling in the end zone. I swear this feel like a touchdown. Seven six is rolling. You know I don't do no bust now. All my niggas holding. You know I can get you touched now. Shouting in the crowd. I bet she gon' let me fuck now. Rolling in the end zone. I swear this feel like a Touchdown. This feel like it is a six. Defense is retreating quick. No, I got that cannon on me and receivers on the whim. Welcome pressure, where's a bliss? Not afraid to take the risk. Swear to God, I hate to lose, but winning is my favorite shit. Swear that I was built just for survival. No Deontay, but I'm wild or slick. It's Murray's worth the collar. They can't keep up with my mileage. They like where he go to college. They say get him, yeah, I got him. Eat him up, yeah, I'ma hide him. Like I'm manning in the pocket. I drop back and then I lob it. I can throw it anywhere. Niggas catch it like they hop this. It's too perfect. You can't pick this. But if I'm playing defense, you see how I'm moving like Ray Lewis. I swear this is like a touchdown. Seven six is rolling. You know I don't do no bust now. All my niggas holding. You know I can get you touched now. Shouting in the crowd. I bet she gon' let me fuck now. Rolling in the end zone. I swear this feel like a touchdown. Seven six is rolling. You know I don't do no bust now. All my niggas holding. You know. I can get you touched now Shawty in the crowd I bet she gon' let me fuck now Rolling in the end zone I swear this feel like a touchdown I don't take L's That's your story Fuck fourth down I'ma go for it It's two ways that I like numbers That's in the bank And on the scoreboard Is he insane? I'm like yes lord Put the captain patch on my chest for it They call it time out Getting scared I'm steady thinking about the next score I make it rain I'm forecasting These niggas bike No play action No flags baby That's end zone Whole team grounded like Tim Pose. We stay down like ten toes. I'm cashing in to the bank close. Got a peep how I approach it. I beat them deep, now they coach bitch. They don't know this, I'm strategic game plan on point. Ain't no way that you can beat it. Run your play and get defeated. Thought I didn't, but I seen it by the end of any season. Bet my record, I swear this feel like a touchdown. Seven six is rolling, you know I don't do no bust now. All my niggas holding, you know I can get you touched now. Shouting in the crowd, I bet she gon' let me fuck now. Rolling in the end zone, I swear this feel like a touchdown. Seven six is rolling, you know. I don't do no bus now. All my niggas holding, you know I can get you touched now. Shouting in the crowd, I bet she gon' let me fuck now. Rolling in the end zone, I swear this feel like a touchdown. Now, these, <clears throat> how did you come up with the, the touchdown song? Man, I was inspired by Saha the Prince. He had a song on, I forget what year 2K it was, but it was called uh, Sideways. And that was one of the songs on uh, on his, I think on the Royal Flush series. On one of those mixtapes. It was a song. Yeah, I think it was on the Royal Flush mixtapes. But he just redid it and put it on 2K to... To kind of fit a whole basketball theme, so he flipped all the words in there into like teams and players and cultures and stuff. Because it's dope, you know what I mean. And like the the replay value of it, because it's on the game, you know what I'm saying. It's like just in continuous rotation. It just you know it's getting drilled in your head. That's forever, you know what I'm saying. If this is a classic game, your your music will be associated with it all the time. So I wanted to do something like that. Um, So I came up with the touchdown theme. Um, I had already had like. The kind of like the cadence of how I wanted it to go, and then 
uh, Jinx over there, Boom House, shout out Chris Dean and Boom House, man. He uh, was playing the beat <laughs> all nonchalantly, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, oh, I just made this, it ain't nothing. And I was like, man, let me get that. So I took it and, you know, ended up writing stuff down and came back and recorded like two days later. Um, and just been waiting to perfect it, to drop it, you know what I'm saying, for now. So, you know, there's an NFL draft coming up, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Uh, oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, plug now, it. Now, are you shopping at Demand? Yeah, I'm trying to get that on Madden. I just submitted it everywhere in video games or just the numbers going having, crazy That's right what I'm saying. Now, the touchdown is going live going right crazy. now, yeah. Um, What's up? Video games, sports shows, uh, in stadiums, arenas, warm-ups, I don't care. I'm just trying to get that out there, you know what I'm saying, and attached to that sports theme because mm-hmm. I, I like sports. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it can't, yeah that's, how it, that's how it came out, though. All right, goddamn it, man. Stop bullshitting. Stop playing, Y'all man. Y'all got a sports YouTube channel. channel. You know what I'm saying? I know all sports of that. Podcast, Look, somebody everything. put me on, man. You got to connect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, last but never least, never. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's Jordan Sams. Yeah. Now, he dropped his single 22. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to take a break and we're going to go check out that. Yeah. This is Jordan Sam 22. You can ask me anything you wanna know. I'm willing to go how far you wanna go. Yeah, you made me wanna put you on for show. Got me falling for you like you run mo. I'm willing to catch you if you catch me. I'm gonna treat you like you are my everything. I'ma check for you if you check for me. Just gotta be what you expect from me. It's all about your energy. First, you were a friend of me. Back then, I didn't know for sure, but now I know that we were meant to be. Yeah, remember you was feeling mad. I said to let you vent to me. Just asking you to think about the future. You know that we got history. I'ma hold you if you hold me down. I'ma bring you when I'm going now. Show you off when I'm showing now. We know you mind, you know it now. Too fast, you wanna take it slow. You wanna take it slow, I slow it down. Wants love to overflow. Yeah, I saw you, you want it now. You can ask me anything you wanna know. I'm willing to go how far you wanna go. Yeah, you made me wanna put you on for show. Got me falling for you like a wrong mom. I'm willing to catch you if you catch me. I'm gonna treat you like you are my everything. Check for you if you check for me. Yeah. Just gotta be what you expect from me. You can ask me anything you wanna know. I wanna go how far you wanna go. Yeah, you made me wanna put you on for show. Got me falling for you like you run them all. I'm willing to catch you if you catch me. I'ma treat you like you are my everything. You know I'ma check for you if you check for me. Just gotta be what you expect from me. So that was uh, Jordy Sam's 22. Yeah. So how did that come about? What's so, the meaning behind your 22? Behind 22 is, it's like, imagine you're in that talking phase with like <laughs> your significant other or whatever. Okay. And you're lying. You're lying. now it's like, you're trying to basically see where you're standing and like, okay, if we're going to go into this, this is what you're probably expecting from me, but this is what I'm expecting from you. So... You know, what you do for me is what I'm going to do for you. Catch 22 is 22, yeah. you know. Basically, oh, shit, okay. you know, if you want loyalty from me, I'm expecting you to be loyal. If you want me to be a hardworking person, I'm expecting you to be hardworking, not lazy. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to be 50-50. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when we're not 50-50, I'm going to carry you. And you're going to carry me when I'm, you know what I mean? So. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. Mm. I'm loving that. I'm mm. loving that. Okay. You have to double on Tom. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, <clears throat> for all of the... Work that I know, that I've seen y'all put in. 
do y'all feel like any any type of way when you have people that get recognized for doing some bullshit? Yeah, like uh, yeah. like I, I I let me just throw it out. So I know for me, when I first like started mm-hmm. like kind of getting into rap, you know, you know we had to use the little the little cassette tape boom boxes that had mm-hmm. the built in mic and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. And then it's like when you rapping a motherfucker rapping with the paper, and then if you you know and like and then he got to get out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you said the course one time. Yeah, and he got to yeah, slide back in. Yeah, and if you fuck up. You got to rewind it. Whole tape, yeah. Whole shit over. Yeah. There was no so, takes. Yeah. So for all the work y'all put in, do y'all feel any type of way, man, when it comes like people doing like, let's say the Island Boys? Man. <laughs> man, them dudes is... Like, like, not, 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 like not to diss them or nothing, but, nah, you know... Fuck them. But nah, <laughs> they're still <laughs> mud niggas. It's garbage. garbage right? Them niggas is garbage, bro. Yeah, them garbage. niggas is, is culture vultures. You know what I'm saying? Like them people who just associate with the culture because they know it's going to bring... They exploit themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because they know it's going to bring notoriety. You know what I'm saying? They know people are going to click on it. Whether it be positive or negative, the point is they're getting the clicks. You know what I'm saying? They're getting the views. People look at it to laugh. Show somebody and laugh, you still clicked. You know what I'm saying? If they, if for some fucking reason you like the shit, you yeah, clicking on. Well, why though? Like, what? Why? Like, why because are people of, focusing on people that not, that's not putting the social down? media era? The social media era put an acceleration on, on garbage people. Because now, if somebody was garbage, Back in the day, before all of this, you used to be like, he fucking garbage. And and you wouldn't talk about it. That was it. He was garbage. Under the net. Na- yeah, okay. exactly. Under mm-hmm. the next person. we The person we going to hype up because at that point, it was word of mouth. Let me show you physically. Okay. You're not wasting your time to show nobody nobody garbage. Mm-hmm. Now that it's so easy, I can just be like, oh, yeah, he got oh, this cool. stupid ass song. You know look at this mm-hmm. dumb ass shit. Yeah. That many look at this dumb ass shits right, add up. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? That's so, like, now. Yeah, now. exactly. <laughs> so, it's just like, you can't even, you can't, like, to say, just to be honest, even bringing them up in this. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna give them some notoriety because what if somebody watching is like, who the fuck is the Olive so Boys? Yeah, what okay. they gonna do? They are gonna go look, look and search it, yeah. who's the Olive Boys, and they gonna be like, I can't believe right, these right, niggas. Right. What other videos they got? And watch to laugh at them. Yeah. The point is, they still getting the notoriety. The one, They're exploiting yeah. the system. They know that that's how it's gonna go, so that's what they do. Yeah. I'm not mad at it from a business standpoint, but it dilutes real music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because people. People who don't know no better or younger kids who, you know, they don't know no better. They associate that with real music, and that's just not fair. And it's not even on the island, boys, because they're just riding the wave that everybody... Yeah, that every, is what I'm saying. It's not like they started it. They just jumping in where they know, where they, know they can. Attention. Does, does that discourage y'all at all? No. Everybody. No, it doesn't really... I don't really... If anything, it encourages me, because I'm like, yeah, if you exactly. listen to that and you when, your ears yeah. was fixed on that, when you hear my shit, mm-hmm. I'm good. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm just exactly. feeling it like, once I get this shit... You know, around the ears that need to hear it, in front of the eyes that need to see it. Yeah. If you was if you was happy with that, I know what you gonna how you gonna feel. I can't imagine how you gonna feel when you hear this shit or when you see this mm-hmm. shit. That's what I'm Unless you don't like, understand music and don't really yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. longevity. That's what we're yeah. in this for. <laughs> longevity. That's why it don't be bothering me. They be you know, they blow up good, okay. you know, get your get your shit off. That's cool. Get your Because in ten years, it, yeah, who's gonna be gonna here? Last. You know what that I'm gimmick saying? is only like gonna go. Yeah, that gimmick is only gonna go so far. <laughs> yeah. That's really what it is. For real, the gimmick is only gonna go so far. Like who is like unironically? I mean, you know, shout no. out to you, but who's on unironically bumping like designer still right now in like twenty twenty two? Nobody. Stuff like that. I, you nobody. Know what I'm saying? He was a cool. fan for that time period. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I was like, say, I don't see. Other when the last time you heard somebody play a Jay Kwan song? Mm. You oh, haven't. Yeah. Exactly. You have it, but you remember Tipsy oh. and you remember Hood Hop. Them was hard. Like, look, I was about to ask you who the hell is they calling, but then when you said <laughs> that, see, that, that's my point. You first that's make my point. Yeah, the point is, like, he had oh, his run nigga, where Tipsy and Hood Hop that was the shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody in the club mm-hmm. getting tips. Once that shit yeah, faded out, it was like, okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Maybe exactly. time, move along, let the next nigga plug in, get his little shine, and we'll replace him eventually. Yeah, That's so. usually how it goes. And some people are okay with that. Some people write music specifically for that, for that first blow up, and then they're cool yeah, with that. Yeah. I'm not particularly cool with that. I don't yeah. want that. Yeah, we're not I, I need the, I need, no, yeah, yeah. I need the longevity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I need yeah. the recognition that I'm actually good at doing this. I'm, not, I'm more Fan into being an artist instead of an entertainer, yeah. even though I can do both. I ain't gonna lie, man. All three of y'all can do both. Mm-hmm. I, like I said, I'm I'm highly impressed with all three of y'all. Yeah, I appreciate that. I am not gonna fucking you. lie, though, thank and you. I am not saying this shit mm-hmm. just because y'all came through this motherfucker for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, we had to. Man, we had to. I, I, I am I am highly impressed with y'all, man. Like I think y'all are polished artists. 
y'all shit like really sound like just mainstream. Damn. The only critique that I have is for Nick. I just want you to put out more. Yeah. Right, right. That's, 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 that's not a critique, though. But sure, that's, that's more like, like a, of an encouragement. That just like, means yeah. you're waiting for yeah. more. But yeah, you're exactly. cool. That means no, like, yeah, you're, you're right. You right. I want to hear more from that. Yeah. Right. You got a ton of shit, yeah. <laughs> and <Y'all> with yeah, <laughs> you yeah. got a ton of shit. I know a lot of your shit is on SoundCloud. Yeah, I checked that your whole Jordan Nail. I mean, not Jordan Nail. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, yeah. Jordan Sam uh, part, two. part two. Yeah, that part on, two on Spotify. Yeah. Just talking about and that. you had some, you had some hit people on there, man. That kind of got me. Now I know you mentioned yesterday mm-hmm. the audio push, but okay. But you had them. Mm-hmm. You had um, like what, Lady Dice. Lady, Lady Dice, Dice, yeah. yeah. And then you had a major. Yeah. From Canada. No, mm-hmm. this is a different a major. That's the same one. Different. A major. Oh, okay. I was about to say. No, I was yeah. about to say. Damn. How the hell? So, okay. Well, well, I don't push. I know they did the. Uh, 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 what the uh, t- t- Teach, oh, that teach me how to jerk. Yeah, that's the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song. Yeah, teach me how to jerk. Yeah. So, how did you hook up with them? So it's crazy. I'm actually friends with Price on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But it, it, I'm it friends did, with, though. I'm that's friends with Price matters. on yeah. Facebook. I don't know how that happened. We'll and it. at one point a few years ago, me and Doc were reaching out to them for a feature, but it didn't work out. And then he had posted something, and you know, I'm a friend of his on Facebook, so I'm going to react to it, comment on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he reacted to my comment, and then I messaged him just to see if he even remembered me reaching out for the feature or whatever. And then, you know, he didn't, but he was like, you know, if you're still trying to make that happen, what's good? And then, you know, we chopped it up. Yeah. Gave me his price. Uh, I've been sitting on the song for a little bit, and didn't really have like a full direction for like how I wanted to finish it but I felt like they was going to jump on and talk their talk which they both did <laughs> yeah. yeah um but yeah that's how that one came about well you got some good songs on there man uh, thank you Elevator's a hell of a one thank you The Bunny and Clyde like I said before <laughs> that's a hell of a one thank you yeah I'm I'm, 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 I'm I was actually I went to Taco Bell yesterday uh Lord forgive me because I know I ain't supposed to eat that shit <laughs> man <Yeah. laughs> I know it's but, bad for you but yeah, yeah, this is how crazy shit was mm. I'm going. I'm going to Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. Wife in the car. The first song I played before I told, I was like, "Hey, play." I, I was like, "Play the play the busy song." Mm-hmm. I was like, um, "Hennessy." So she pulled it up. She listened to it. She was like, oh, "Okay." She was like, "Which one was that?" She was like, "That was the the, the black." Du-. I was like, "Yeah, the black dude, the one with the drink." <laughs> I was like, yeah, that, 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 "That's his shit." She was like. Damn, he sung the chorus. I'm like, yeah, they mm-hmm. sung shit, rap, all that shit. Yeah. I'm like, I'm I'm like, I told that nigga, I don't believe it was yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, well, like, all true, right. Man. So then after that, I played the losing you. Yeah. Okay. We are going down, motherfucking uh, Harrison right here. Playing losing you. I'm like, I think that song went off. I'm like, hey, you know, like, you, you got any critiques or anything you think about? She's like, no. Nah. She's like, he sung that too. I was like, yeah, he sung that shit. She was like. I don't have nothing to say about that. She was like, that, that damn not like a perfect song. Like yeah, the way he, the way he it. Yeah. Like, right. We get in the fucking parking yeah. lot. I mean, uh, we get in the Taco Bell line and shit. Order the food and everything. Yeah. I told her to play. I like 22. Yeah. But I like Bonnie and Clyde more. Yeah. Oh, what? I'm sorry. What? I do. I'm sorry. I do. That's different. I don't know. I'm not, you know, that's I'm not mad at both. Yeah, I'm not mad at both. Yeah, I'm not mad at both. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why, though. Yeah, let me hear this. I'm going to tell you why. Please explain. Because he really, look, he sung on Bunny and Clyde, some, like, with his normal voice, and that shit sounds so motherfucking good. I was like, this nigga don't need no auto. <laughs> I feel you. Look. It was so, look, it was so good that my wife, she was like, is that him singing? I'm like, yeah. Cause she played the video. Yeah. See, you know what I'm saying? Like she yeah. was, so she was playing, like instead of her going to like Spotify. Yeah. She, from YouTube. You know, yeah, she went to YouTube. Yeah. So and you know, he got both. He got like yeah. just like he got the song up there with just the just cover. The, the, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and then he the got the video. video. Yeah. yeah. So he's playing the video. So she see him singing that motherfucker. And she's like asking me, she was like, is that him singing? I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. Him. She was like, <laughs> she was like, damn, he, like damn. She was like, all three of them can sing. 
I'm like, yeah. Look, 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 I'm like, look. I'm not even bullshitting. I'm like, they all three of them can sing. I'm <laughs> like, they don't need no auto tune at all. I'm like, I get it. Like, hey, they want to use it to blow shit like that. Yeah. I'm like, man, hey, don't all need three of y'all can sing. Thank you. Appreciate so, that, I'm, but. Yeah. That's that's mine. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it. I'm so, look, you no, gotta, I'm not, that's, that's a thing, thing. yo. That's a thing. I, I'm, I'm not, not mad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I haven't. That's not a common thing. And I like twenty two is good. <laughs> it's good. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. But it's good. But but in class, man. No, I feel that one brings a different energy for sure. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the video's cold, too. Dang, I really fuck with the visual. Yeah, the visual. Shout out to Nesquik Visual. Yeah, Nesquik. I still ain't yeah. got no video from you, but nigga, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm definitely. Now, where is he from? So, he's actually from, you know, Bremerton and stuff, but he just recently relocated to Arizona. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, well, we yeah. got plugs out no, there. No, we can Arizona go down there, too. Yeah, because I got a whole bro. motherfucking ranch out there. You can hit me to go down there yeah. and shoot anytime, too. So it's yeah, we good. We go out there. There's a producer out in Arizona named Ellipsey. And I'm on her album. That's she, oh, she in Arizona? She in Arizona. Too? I didn't know that. I didn't and know she was like, yo, me she in Arizona? Her, I didn't know that. I don't know which town exactly, but she's... Me and her are tight, though. You know? I didn't know. That. Well, like I said, so we, got, we, got we got hella space and, and somewhere to stay out in Arizona, so uh -huh. we can make that happen. And I want to see a, I want to see a remix, man, to... The Hennessy song. Mm -hmm. I got that you. Needs yeah. To happen. yeah, I got you. We're gonna definitely make that happen. That needs I need to, to shoot a visual to that in the first place. Yeah, you do. But yeah, cause that shit got me out to. <laughs> hey, tell me, DZ, All I can say is, if you don't let me remake the beat, finesse those piano keys, bro. Please do. We're you ain't got to tell me. Yeah. You don't got to tell me. That. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. You can just do it. That's cool. Let look. Let look. Have Jordan Sam redo the keys. Mm -hmm. Have him redo the beat. Come on. Come on now. Go ahead, sing the chorus. Talk to him. Okay. <laughs> you put a verse on there. No, you already know. Hmm? You put a verse on there. Mm -hmm. Or y'all two can split a verse. No, I'm going to let them, because I'm going to just oh, sing the chorus. You I'm, sing cool the chorus? With, I'm cool with that on the remix. That's That's the remix. I'll just sing the chorus, have them redo it, and then y'all can do it. Because they're okay. written. You know yo, what I'm saying? that'll be tight. That's, That's what I'm saying. All right, look That's out for that, yo. That's look easy. out for that. Let me know, hey. Don't be bullshit. Yeah, he's like, stop playing. No, bro. I don't get my little hopes up. We're heading back to the studio. We're going back to the studio after this. So we just we recorded one song. We came from the studio. Yeah, we recorded one song that we're going to finish. You didn't do that verse, did you? You know, no, yeah. we're doing so it. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna record that, and then we have one, the one that we just me and him with uh, with the, with Chris Dean with Jinx beat. Yeah, we we gonna we gonna get something done tonight. Because okay. when I first heard that motherfucker, the first thing popped in my mind, I was like, damn, this sound like some shit Bryson Tiller would do. Facts. <laughs> the shit was a. Uh, it was yeah yeah yeah. I yeah. could definitely hear. I can, I could definitely see like that. Like when he was doing when he was putting out his shit was, yeah, like he, he had, had his little, little run like yeah. his little trap soul yeah. 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 I was like, Tory. damn. Like or Tory, yeah. I got I've got Tory a bunch this of times. Like, I've right. actually had people say that they I remind them of Tory mm. even though. I mean that's cool because Tory can spit too. Yeah, he can spit. He got all yeah. in Tory like. He do that bar. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying. Don't, don't, don't do that. 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 Don't put me in Tory Lane. I'm just saying, man. No, First of all, I'm taller than Tory Lane, yeah, cut that down. and I got more hair than Tory. More hair. Yeah, you do. Because Tory Lane's a lot more. Tory Lane's got. Uh, I see it. I'm sorry, man. Man, but look. It's, it's hard for me to believe that Tory Lane's was busting. I don't. I don't. He said over the way. I'm like, that nigga ain't tall enough. <laughs> to be busting, standing up, he can't. He got to step up on the rail to get into the motherfucking truck. Yo, How the fuck he, did you hear that? <laughs> Yo, bro, 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 you can see it. that video of him. Free, I think he was freestyling on sway. And he was sitting down. And, and they when zoomed he stood out. up. Yeah, I was, was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, bro, how? Man, that nigga is too small. We was talking about in the car how small yeah. Forty Two Doug is. You yeah, the yeah. picture where he took with the with the female. He no, took a picture with some girl. Like, I just know about the one. Thing. I just know about the one Jordan was talking about when he was on Sway in the, was Sway in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that one. Oh yeah, Tory Lanez when he stood up and stood that nigga yeah. was saying <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, boy, what? Yeah, yeah. I know about that you one. Better put some platform shoes on. Bro. But I thought I, I mean I'm short, but goddamn, yeah, like, I'm that nigga's seven, small. But, hey. He's small as hell. He's like five or three or something. Wayne is short. Yo, Kendrick is short. Yo, yeah. Roddy Rich is short. Roddy Rich is small, yeah. Roddy Rich short? Well, no. You know what? I kind of... I kind of figured that, yeah. I kind of thought that. Only kind of saw him next to Nip. They, uh... Wayne is small. Two chains big as hell. Wayne is small. Fucking Plies is like this big. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You would think that them was the most largest gangsterous niggas. <laughs> and them niggas is like this big when you see them. I'm like, damn, where the rest of the players hey, at? And if y'all are watching this in like five, I ten years, bro, I fuck with all of y'all. I still want to do a song for all of the birds I just named. No, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't clowning no more. I ain't clowning, I'm just saying, no, nigga, I'm, 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 I'm talking well, to hey, you. Well, this is a perfect time right here, because then y'all can get, y'all can actually, you know what I'm saying, pay some homage and get some good, ah, mm -hmm. top five routes. Mm -hmm. 
I yeah. got look. I remember. Y'all, 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 you know what I'm saying? Y'all had a chance. I already know. Like, yeah. We were talking about this in the car. About this. Nigga ain't finna get me. Funny. I know all. <laughs> I got all mine. All right, we gonna start with Nick. All right. So you want us like talk a little bit about each one? Yeah, because we've been thinking about this shit. We got another five. All right. <clears throat> so like, you know, as far as like where I get a lot of my flow yeah. influence from, <laughs> I gotta go Method Man. And then this is in no particular no order. order. Okay. Yeah, no order. No, no order. particular order. No particular order. Uh, Method Man. Uh-huh. Right. Um, I got Get your nasty Nas. Too at the end. I got nasty Nas. I get a lot of like my cadences and a lot of like like rhyme patterns from Nas. Who else? I be saying his name different too. Nas, Nas. Yeah. Who else? I got. I got Conway the Machine. I gotta put him up. He's but a newer Nas, cat, but Conway. And Method Man. Method Man. Man. Okay, three. I got. Yo, I forgot who I said. Oh, I said Pusha T. You did say Push. Yeah. Pusha T. And you threw in... And my fifth, man, It was Cole. No. You wasn't no. Cole? It wasn't Cole. Was it Kanye? I love Cole. No, I said Kanye. I love Kanye. I gotta put... You know, this might be oh, no. different. No, no. It's not the same. I remember mine. I, remember mine. <laughs> I don't remember my fifth. Mm-hmm. It's, between, it's between Jay-Z and Eminem. But I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go Jay Z. Okay. Okay. Just so, because without Jay, half of the guys I love mm-hmm. listening to wouldn't be doing. It wouldn't even be that. Yeah. Okay, so hold on. So Meth. Meth. Conway. Conway. Nas. Nas. Nas Jay. Jay. And push it And push it And push. Yeah. That's, that's a solid, that's solid five, bro. That's solid. Yeah, look, he, he called me. That's a solid five, bro. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah, that's solid. And I'll, yo, and I'll fight y'all on, on those, bro. Yeah, I'm saying. I'll fight y'all on those. Nah, I'm going to talk to Chris T. I'm going to talk to Chris T. earlier today. The honorable. Yeah, who your honorable mention? Oh, yeah. How many honorables we get? Just one. Just one. Oh, just one. Just one. Just one honorable mention. Oh, just one makes it hard. All right. Yeah, because what they honorable mention, so you didn't say where or not. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I remember who I said before. Kendrick. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, you know. But I will put... Jay is above Kendrick though, so I'm, I'm gonna put that. But okay. yeah, Kendrick's my honorable right, mention. Right. I can't be mad at that. Yeah, right, what you got? What you got? Me? I, I remember mine, nigga. Yeah. I got uh, six nine. Uh, fuck no. <laughs> head out on the hill. Head that out, dog. Don't he said blue face. Head that out. Delete. Control. All Herbie. <laughs> delete. Nigga, control. He said it's so smooth, though. That's yeah, six, not, no. He said it's so smooth. Motherfucking, uh, I got Nas. <laughs> yeah, okay. Already. Uh, Wayne. Nas, Sorry. Wayne, Kanye. Uh, who was my other one? It was, uh, Crit. I remember yeah, that was one. I remember, man. I do. I forgot the last person. <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm saying. I forgot the last. Nas, Wayne, Kanye, Crit. Now, who was the last person I thought in there? Oh, and Jay. Nas, Wayne, Kanye, Jay, and Crit. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. Nas, Wayne, Kanye, Yo, Jay, Yo, if we could do top And my time. honorable mention is Saha. Oh, yeah. Saha. Yeah, Saha. 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 You did say that last time. Nipsey. Nipsey. Yep. yep. And no, no order. No Nipsey. order. Okay. Don Kennedy, Nipsey. Uh, Big Sean. Yep. I'm going to throw Schoolboy Q in there. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we was riding out there. Yeah, we was. Yeah, we was. I forgot about him, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Schoolboy hard. Yeah, he got some heat, bro. Um, yeah. I definitely uh, think he's, he's, he's underrated, he's, he's, yo. He's underrated, too. Facts. Uh, you got what? One more? Yeah, I got Yeah, I said Don Kennedy, Nipsey. Big Sean. Boy and Big Sean, oh. and then this was my honorable mention before, but I'm gonna say J Cole. Okay, mm. so who do I honorable mention? Who do I mention? Actually, I'm gonna say the honorable mention. <laughs> is the last one is gonna be interchangeable just because it's like we've been wanting to hear a project from these two together for a long time, but they keep BSing. Kendrick Lamar, mm-hmm. Kendrick Cole, Lamar. Yeah. yeah, Kendrick and Cole. Those two, like they always be sliding on people each other's Honestly, songs. Honestly, Honestly, I want to see Kendrick. J. Cole uh-huh. and Crit. Ooh. That would be dope. That would be dope. Those are three. That would be dope. Man. Who's doing the beats? I let Crit do them. Crit. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah, I, let, yeah, I let Crit do them. Yeah, I, I let Crit do them and, pro- and rec- uh, produce it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like uh, engineer it, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I let Crit do the whole thing. Yeah, Crit does everything. Even if, even if Dre was offering some? If Dre was offering it, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If Dre say, but you know, on a on a 12 song project, Dre gonna be two of them. You know what I'm saying? So the majority is gonna be crit. 
You know those are gonna hit though. They're gonna, those they're gonna, be, yeah, they're they're gonna be But I could see that. That would be hard. I don't know if we could let Dre do it though. We might not ever get it back. You know, we might we might be waiting. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You gonna hold it? Yeah, yeah, nigga, y'all gotta eight something. Like I'm trying to put this out, bro. These, <laughs> these two, I'm not clearing yet. No. <laughs> Dre is one of the ones, man. Mm-hmm. Now, what 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 makes y'all different from the next wanna be rapper? Well, so what makes y'all different? Mm. To start off, we're not wanna be rappers. Yeah, I would say no. I don't know. My I know. I'm just saying. Okay, I get it. You know, we not want to be rappers. A lot of people do this. A lot of people do music because, for for the reasons different from what we do. Mm-hmm. You know, we were all we all grew up with music. We all have a love for music in different stages, different genres. We can appreciate yeah. good music. You know, what I'm saying to. we're not doing this shit because it's popular or because we want to look a certain way or have this image. We like music regardless. If if music didn't pay anything, I would still be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because I fu- I like music. That shit is something that I know I'm good at. I have a talent at, and that's a great way to express yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, most people do it for I'm trying to get rich. It's like rich being rich is a side effect of making great music to me. You know what I'm saying? If I make great music, then obviously, come. yeah, you know what I'm saying. The money and shit is gonna come. But you know, a lot of people just want to make music. And just put it out just to get paid. You know what I'm saying? That's why you hear a lot of people's, you know, one album. Then you don't hear from them no more because they didn't love music. They wanted to get the money. Yeah. They put out one good album. They get the money. Then when they try to come back and make something else, it don't feel the same because they not they don't care they for music. For yeah, they don't have a love for it. They're just doing it like, well, what can I make that sounds like something that's going to make What's some money? What's in right now? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's what can I make that sounds like something that's going to make me some money instead of... You know, how can I approach this project? What can I do to express my art? Or, you know what I'm saying? How can I do? They don't look at it that deep. Myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't look at they it don't that care deep. About I that. think, like, we all individually, before we even clicked up, mm-hmm. all had a love for music itself. You know what I'm saying? That's Absolutely. what makes us different. All right. I got music over everything tatted on my chest. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, it's deeper. Like, for me, and my hard points in life, when I felt like people weren't there for me, music was. I could turn to music and yeah. write. You know what Yo, I mean? Like, music was an outlet for, for me. Like, facts. it wasn't just something that I wanted to do because it would get females yeah. music, or Fuck money that, or whatever. Yeah. Fuck bro. all like, that, yeah. I needed to vent or else I was going to do some other bad stuff. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? This shit helped me in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Facts. That shit's corny, yo. Like, there's a lot of dudes, you know, that that get into it because it's a hobby or because you know three years ago they decided hey you know all my friends are doing it they think it looks cool you can yeah, tell though you can tell when it's, yeah, not, when it's not when it's not you can tell by how people do their songs yeah. you know what i'm saying by like the you know the the, the song structure like the bars you know? yeah a lot of people don't the creative not, choices you know, know what i'm saying like, like it's, i know people who do music they're rappers yeah. and they don't know how to count bars Come on, and I'm man. like, how do you not wow. know? What you mean? Like, how many bars is your verse? You trying to do shit? I was just going to forty seconds. Like, nigga, that's not an increment. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many bars did you spit? I don't understand that shit. Like, that shit don't make sense to me. If you actually doing music or bro, that's shit, like it's step, producers that's step out there. Negative five, bro. I'm that's, telling you, bro, it's like producers one, out there who don't know how to make put patterns in their beats. For real, they just know how to use the program and just make pattern. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't know how to right. like. Put everything like track shit out. They don't know it's how to put it together, like, bro. And that shit is annoying. It's literally the people that you be seeing at the gym that look like they be knowing how to hoop. Mm-hmm. But then as soon as you they got on all the gear, they got on all the they got on all the gear. They look like they know every sleeve. Their IQ headband. Their IQ is shooting. You like what are you doing, yeah. bro? Like they're camping at the three point line and they can't shoot threes. Nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't know yeah, nothing. None of the basics. Nothing. But they weren't the all regular Jordan shit, the right? But they got the stuff. brand. They look like they part of the game and they don't even know the motherfucking. You know what rules. I mean? They don't know the history behind the nothing, game at bro. all. They don't know how to execute. To me, the if game. you if you are if you are an artist and I ask you, I don't care what kind of artist you are, no matter what genre of music you're in. Yeah. If I ask you about certain artists. You should have an opinion or at least know their songs or something. Even if that's not your particular niche. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I ask you about some Prince and some Mike, these are musical geniuses. At some point in life, you should have studied them. You know what I'm saying? Like, went through their music. At least one song. And with me, I couldn't just listen to one song. So I hear one song and I'm like, damn, I like how he did so and so and so and so. Let me go back and listen to this. Oh, shit. Now that led me to this. Now that leads me to this. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, you gotta. A lot of people don't appreciate. They don't study. Yeah, they don't study. They don't appreciate the the foundation and like the roots of music mm-hmm. and the shit that they do. They just want to do whatever it is that they want to do, and then they wonder why it doesn't have as much a reception or it's not sticking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not sticking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it might hit and flash in the pan, but it's not. 
like a consistent like thing because I know here. that you know basically the, the audience that you garnered is mm-hmm. only looking for the next flash in the pan. Yeah. Once you yeah. fizzle out, nobody cares anymore. What's the next thing we can look at? You don't have no longevity. You don't know nothing about music as a whole in order to, yeah. to garner a consistent fan base. The shit we doing is going to have motherfuckers liking us when we're 40. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. still talking about... Y'all ain't gonna put out nothing else. You know what I mean? Like they <laughs> still gonna be. Is deep. They gonna be so fucking with us. Yeah, y'all do got a plan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta do build that. Do y'all have a plan for how y'all gonna break through? Man, well, or, plan, I feel like man. if we just if we just keep pushing, it's like, gonna garner yeah. it's gonna garner some attention. The plan the numbers, is quality and consistency. Yeah, That's quality and consistency. That's so if you put out good shit at a consistent mm-hmm. rate, it's eventually somebody's yeah. gonna notice. Even if they don't, mm-hmm. even if they particularly don't. You know, notice your song. They're gonna look at the numbers and see, like, okay, well, shit, they doing this. If they we mean, yeah, doing this at these shows and I'm selling X amount of merch and we doing this, somebody's yeah. gonna see that. Like, okay, even if I don't like their music, they can obviously, you know, what I'm saying, garner the attention of. An, they can attract yeah. an audience. That shit's valuable. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Even if they came in with those intentions, then when they get there, they start listening to the music and be like, oh shit, these motherfuckers actually make good music too. That's yep. just dumb. You know what I'm saying? That's just icing on the cake. So it's now cake. I can present this in. The, the famous quality social media circles and the hip hop head circles. You know what I'm saying? The real right. music circles because they're going to be appreciated in both. You know what I'm saying? And we can okay. do shit in both. As long as we keep pumping out the music that we're pumping out at the quality that we're doing it, mm-hmm. it's just a matter of time before somebody recognizes, notice, or we get a big feature or a mm-hmm. uh, yeah. fucking yeah, interview, we're, it's magazine, we're about, some shit. Yeah, we're about you know our saying? business, you know? We're about the business That's side of happen. things, too. We're not we're not stupid. We're not just trying to make music and then just hope that someday we become rich. Like nah, like we're yeah, studying we the business. We I would say that's another thing that makes us different from Yeah, we know the yeah. next wannabe rapper is that we've uh-huh. already started indulging. We ain't finna just take song. whatever you offer. You know what I mean? Like you know we're saying? smarter than that. Yeah. Uh-huh. You can't just throw a certain dollar amount on the table and expect for us to just jump at it because we know mm-hmm. what we're bringing to the table. Yeah, you know, we know we know our worth. Yeah. We know what we well, you know our mm-hmm. earning potentials individually, mm-hmm. not to mention as a whole. Well, so, shit, well, that brings me to my last question. Hmm. Then why do you think the PNW uh, uh-huh. hasn't been recognized musically? Man. Just Man. like I said the last <clears throat> time, nobody up here has an original sound. Nobody sounds like they're from the PNW. If you ask somebody what does the PNW sound like, they're going to say 9 out of 10. They're going to name California artists. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Nobody up here sounds like they're from the PNW. There's nobody up here to where smaller PNW artists emulate that one PNW yep, artist. Right. We don't have that up here. You know what I'm saying? Um, you just you just simply just don't have that up here. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Everybody, even the people that like, but I think the most authentic person that you have from here is like Macklemore, and he's, you know, he's like yeah in some circles because some people don't consider him like real hip hop. You know, yeah. just being real, some people don't consider him real hip hop. So it's like mm-hmm. you don't have nobody that can. It, like that calling card person that when you think of West Coast, you think of Snoop, Tupac. When you think yeah. of East Coast, you think of Jay Z, Nas. Yeah. When you think of the South, you think of Scarface, UGK. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you have immediate Pacific. names you come to. Yeah. When you think of the the, the Pacific know. Northwest, what do you think of? Rocking. You don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Unless you yeah. unless you're a different genre. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're yeah. a yeah. different. Yeah. I'm talking about rap. Right. 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 You know, yeah. right. even yeah. R&B for that matter. You know what I'm saying? Rap and R&B. You well, don't what do you think the PNW sound is? Well, I don't think they have one. Well, as of right no, now, I'm talking about like if, in if, general, if you could create one. Okay. If I could create, man, yeah, I don't, create I'm, one. Not, I'm not necessarily what? from here, so I be, mine would be a little... You have to ask one of them. I feel okay. like it would have to be something kind of unorthodox just because I personally feel like if you look at the like broader spectrum of like PNW music, mm-hmm. even in the hip-hop scene... Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a little like off. past, just like exactly like past, like you know, it's a little lyrical, it's a little, but little, I'm like, little even like down little production, grimy. and yeah. you know, yeah. like every it's different than yeah. what you might hear on like normal mainstream or even normal underground music, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like a lot of like some people's chord structures don't necessarily make sense, but it's like it goes, don't make traditional, sense. yeah, traditional, it goes, sense, I'll yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll say, well, it then, still flows though, yeah, like it's a vibe, okay, That's, because yeah. the, the thing that gives me is the fact that. When I listen to your production, right, mm-hmm. your production doesn't have, like, a signature sound. You don't have a tail. Yeah, you don't have a tail. To me, Jake One is the same way. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a tail. Both of y'all are both from Washington. Right? Yeah, I rock with Jake One. And then, exactly. And then yeah. when I go to, like, con- 
when I go to concerts, mm-hmm. okay, <laughs> there are people that's like really into lyrical shit, which is what you were talking about, Nick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I went to the Conway concert, okay, okay? and Stove Guy came. Sto- yeah, Stove Stove Guy Cooks was there. Yeah, okay? he was one Stove of the openers, yes. and they literally rapped word for word his shit. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And I was tripping because I was like, God damn, like how the fuck y'all know, you know, how the fuck y'all know this nigga, you know? They real big, but it seemed like the ones who, you know, kind of come out of Washington is like, baby got back. Big yeah. shot. That'd be a novelty. Yeah. And I'm trying to understand if if Washington is so like when you look at producers, they're able to produce shit. That's completely different. Don't have a signature sound. Mm-hmm. You got rappers that come out this motherfucker. They get famous, kind of putting out bullshit. Yeah. But you have the core people that likes the lyrical shit. Yeah. Yeah. What is stopping <clears throat> that I think, real? I think what's stopping rap it, yo. coming out of the northwest? Like, what the fuck is that? I let him say what he was. I think. Say. I think what it is, you know, I think there is a big fan base here for lyrical shit because you know Macklemore as gimmicky as his big hits were I think some of his deeper cuts show that he, he has a little bit of writing in there he has some lyrics yeah, he's not but, a bad and like the bigger dudes oh, from no, Seattle no, 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 like no, no, I don't no, know like no. Sam LaChow is really getting out there now Yeah, and he's kind of got a similar vibe and stuff so I think the and like you said everyone knew the words at Conway so I think it's there like it's it's ready to go the fan base is ready to go think, but it's hard for them to like rally around an artist I don't, I don't think it's necessarily rallying around an artist I think 9 out of 10 is the artist's fault so I think that these yeah. people enjoy those type of fan bases that you're talking about, like kind of that underground following. Mm-hmm. And then once they start garnering so much attention, they feel like they, they have leave. to change. Yeah, yeah. They feel like they have to do something different mm-hmm. than what the fuck was working for them the whole time. Because now they have they're garnering national attention, so they like yeah. Well, yeah. in national eyes, this PNW shit is and weird. Yo, I don't want to. So speak. I have to do yeah. some more nationally accepted shit, and it's like that's the shit that that's got you, you fuck up. Yeah. to where you were in the first place. Okay. Keep doing that. Because then that becomes not weird. Now it becomes some mm-hmm. regular shit. It was a time when West Coast shit was weird because East Coast was running it. Exactly. There was a time when the shit in the South was weird yeah. because East Coast and West Coast running, shit was running it. Shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you got to stick with your lane, stay in that. No matter how much attention you're going to stay true to yourself mm-hmm. and do that. You know what I'm saying? And then eventually you won't have to reach out for those big features. Them big features will reach out to you. because they got something to say. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll want to get <laughs> on, yeah, yeah, on that yeah, quote unquote yeah. weird sound. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Once people start realizing how how big the South was doing at a certain point, every nigga from New York has some say. You know, Wayne was everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Ludacris was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they start realizing, let me get a piece of that. You know what I'm saying? This shit was weird two years ago, but now this shit popping. Hey, come over here and do this 16 with me. Mm-hmm. You start seeing people work together that you wouldn't think would normally work together because they start seeing the sense in it. Yeah. So if, if niggas can stick to their shit, stay with it, do what they do, garner their attention that way, then eventually some of these... Bigger artists or more high profile artists should start reaching out to some of these artists in, you know, the PNW and start collabing with them off, you know, off that instead mm-hmm. of us having to reach out and pay and they just doing it because they have to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. They're going to reach out and fuck with us because they fuck with the movement and the shit we got going on. Okay. And that's going to be us. I, I have a good feeling, yo. I think Facts. I think if there's going to be a sound from the PNW, I mean, the PNW has got a rich music history. It does. As far as music goes, you know. With grunge, rock, and and especially with dudes like Quincy Jones lived yeah. in Bremerton for a little mm-hmm. bit, yo. Like, so like the musicality is there. I think if there's gonna be a hip hop sound, it's gonna be something we're doing, which is blending genres, blending different styles of hip hop, appealing to everybody, and creating something completely new out of it. Hey, but like all three of y'all, I would love to see y'all do a song with uh, Tito Yanez and uh, L.A. White. Those are two artists from here. Okay. That kind of have like they, I don't know they like y'all they from know. Olympia, yeah they from Olympia. Okay, okay. yeah. That's what's what's up. Up. Y'all, yeah. so so both of them are from Olympia. That's what's up. I've actually interviewed both of them as well. Too. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. Go back and watch but those. the music that they create is up par with it's up there. You know what I'm saying? Like I just let's get it. Like I would like I would love to see. 
And and the fact that both of them can sing and all three of y'all can sing. Oh well then yeah. Let's, so that's yeah. why I was like, damn. And then my wife pointed that shit out like yeah, even last night. She was like, I love to see them all together and shit. And I was like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm like that shit would be a nasty. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it would be a nasty ass sound. Especially if, like if Jordy, you produce the, the beat. Obviously. Yes, obviously. Oh, man, that'd be crazy. <laughs> and then y'all y'all did y'all thing, like that shit would be lovely. Well, we're gonna have to tap in then. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to focus on. Uh, now, okay. where, where do y'all think the future of hip hop lies, man? In us. <laughs> the future of hip hop? The future of hip hop, period. Man, yeah. I feel like it lies in anybody who really is hungry for it and wants to keep going. Yeah. We were talking about this on the way here, man. Like, life happens to people, we get it. But it's like, if you're really hungry for this, this like, whatever you're hungry, you're, whatever you want to do or whatever you want, you're going to make time for it. You're going to go do it. You know what I'm saying? You make time, time for the people for the things that you, that you want. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? If you want to do something, if you want to, even if it comes to you, if you want to fuck with some said girl, whoever this female, you're going to make time for it, no right? do that. No matter how busy, how many hours you work, whatever. You're going to make you know time for it. You're going to you make really time for the shit that you really sure, love yeah. and you fuck with. Ain't nothing going to slow that. Ain't nothing going to stop it. I ain't going to say exactly. nothing going to slow it down. Yeah. Some shit might get in your way and be some COVID obstacles. Broke, you know yeah, mean? but <laughs> ain't nothing for real. You know what I'm saying? That shit. But something go- is nothing is gonna stop you. You know, the what ones saying? who wanted it are still working. They're gonna make a way. You know, they what they're, they're gonna figure out some shit to do. You know, and that's mm-hmm. that's who shapes sounds. Is the people. It's not like who is the most, who's the most lyrical, who's got the best music. It's who didn't stop. That's yeah. who shapes the. Because yeah. I can that's name you a thousand everything. niggas I know from the hood that was that was best fire. Freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah fire. He didn't. He didn't want to do stopped. it. You know what I'm saying? Like he, it take it he stopped. He didn't take it serious. He was doing some other shit. So. That doesn't matter in this aspect. You know what I'm saying? You got like, it. none of your... You don't get a Hall of Fame speech if you never played in the league. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like It's true. Yeah. Shit. You, didn't, again. you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, we don't even get to consider you for that if you didn't even play in the league. I don't give a fuck about the legends and the stories we heard. None of that shit. There's no stats to back that up. That shit ain't... You ain't in the books, nigga. Mm-hmm. You never made it here. You know what I'm saying? So, all of that shit is just one thing. And I hear a lot about... That shit, especially, you know, from back home, people, I remember so and so. I'm like, okay, what that nigga doing now? Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, what, <laughs> that, what that nigga bro, doing now, bro? Like, because he sold out yeah. the, the, you know, the. the yeah, oh, I'm straight, yeah. I'm straight, yeah. Because he sold out the, you know, the, the the bar in the hood. It's like, nigga, that don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, did he have streams? Did he have... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I'm not worried about what niggas used to do I'll or how you this, felt bro. about some other nigga. Like, bro, I'm worried about what the fuck I'm doing now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can tangi- show you tangible evidence of what the fuck I'm doing now. Streams, views, yeah. all of that shit. True. Can they do that? Or is it just stories that y'all niggas telling around the campfire or around the domino table? <laughs> People that what you're doing? <laughs> okay, so you telling stories around the domino table. Ain't no telling yeah. who to believe at the motherfucking domino table. Because exactly. niggas is out here bullshitting. So, That's the equivalent of people talking about, about, yeah, back in 89, I almost got drafted to the, Man, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I got this injury. You yeah, know where your high school tape at? Nigga, I ain't okay. seen it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, ain't no proof. I went on that one. I went on that, Jordan. Like, yeah. And even if you got, you know what I mean? Because it's like, here's my thing. Like, for, I'm blessed enough to be able to, like, be in different lanes. Mm-hmm. Like, if I ended up getting into, like, a DOC type thing where I mess my voice up, making stuff work, I'm not going to write. Just, cause, just, exactly. I can still write. Still yeah. I can still compose songs, technically. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let just this one thing stop me. A lot of people let that one thing stop them. They're like, okay, this one, this is hard. Uh, that's it. Yeah. But I'm just like, imagine what's going to, like, you thinking about what everybody on your wall right now has had to go through in it's their hard success. Shit. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially bullshit. in that beginning stage where they were yeah, still yeah. having to prove to people. Yeah. Yeah. When you know they were still I mean? trying to figure themselves, like, am I built for this shit? Am I yeah. yeah. Man. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's going to be some hard times. You got to dive head first, too. You know, I forgot who said it, but somebody, I forgot who said it. There's a quote, like, the best rapper alive right now is stocking shelves, and that's all they're gonna do the whole life, you know. Ooh. Like that's the that's yeah, just the, facts, that's yeah. the reality of it's it. Some of the coldest that's, people I've that's ever heard. That's unfortunate, but you know hey, what I'm that's, saying. That's don't true. have no drive to do this full time. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a lot. I'm gonna work. tell you this. I quit the shipyard to be able to pursue music full time. Full time. I'm, like you asked the question earlier, when did you Maybe. realize that this yeah. is what you're supposed to be doing? Yeah. I was in the shipyard for about a year. And I was like, I can't have people telling me what to do just because I feel like I can make more money doing what I love. You got to chase the you dream, know what I mean? Because the dream is going to make you more money. Nigga, it's, just like what he said. Nigga, I was a financial advisor for at a credit union for two God, years, dang. bro. Come and, on, you know man. What I'm it's like, niggas ain't, niggas ain't dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could do what I need to do to get it done. 
But I didn't love that shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, that's not what I love to do. Was I good at it? Yeah. Because I could, I could pay bills doing that. But this mm-hmm. is what the fuck I didn't want to look back and have regrets. Exactly. I didn't want to look back and be, be like, man, man what would have happened I if I would have? I should have went with, you know what I'm saying? I should have told Doc, fuck it, man. Let's just do let's it. You know what I'm saying? And let's Doc told go. me not to quit. He told me to keep my job, actually. At the shipyard. Yeah, he was like, bro, because here's the thing. With the shipyard. I know you make some. That shipyard is spread. Bank 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 you make bank at the shipyard, bro. and it's really hard to get in. Like, that's almost mm-hmm. one of those things yeah, where you, like, you got to know somebody. Yeah, yeah you got to have You know what I mean? So he was like, bro, I understand what you're trying to do, but, you know, that's good money. I'm like, bro, I understand the money that I'm making right now. That money ain't shit compared to In the to long my, run. Yeah. What we're doing right that now, what we're working for right now. That's going to be gas money. Man. Exactly. That's going to be, yeah. I found this in my couch. Yeah, you know, you know what, what I'm saying? Mean? Like, that's how thankful I am at yeah. what we're doing. That's Facts, why I live. You know what I mean? Because I know that this shit's going to garner more than, you know what I'm saying, than that. So I, I'm not yeah. even tripping. Yeah. Do, you, do y'all feel like y'all can get, like, okay. Do y'all feel like at this time in 2022, you can literally, like, put it all into music? Yeah, if I you're feel ready like for that. Yeah, you. I can. feel like that. There's yeah, never man. been a better time in my life than to do it. But now, I ain't never been in a situation. Cause you know, back in the days, you know, harder. in the early nineties and shit, you know, motherfuckers was like, "Oh, I ain't going I'm gonna drop out of school and yeah, do they this just, shit. Yeah. I'm gonna quit this job and I'm gonna do the music. Mm-hmm. Two years later, <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like motherfuckers can do that in 2022? I feel like now it's you, easier you feel to like do. They gotta work and no, nah, I feel like now it's easier to do because. I mean, so it depends on your situation. Yeah. As far as getting out there, <laughs> okay. as far as getting, I'm not talking about your financials. I'm talking about as far as getting out there. Getting out there is easy to do now. Now you can, I mean, essentially, you could do it yourself if you garner oh, yeah, yeah, attention. Yeah, of course. You can put all, you can distribute all your music yourself. You, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can pay for all of that. You can shoot your videos yourself. Yeah. You can upload them hoes yourself. Mm-hmm. You can do your marketing yourself. You don't really need, you know what I'm saying, anything as long as you're dedicated and you're doing the shit, you especially yeah. when you start building the buzz. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that shit's going to go. Um, I mean, financially, I mean, it's either, you know, one of a couple things. It's either you stand with parents still and you, you work in that situation, you know, or you got a baby mama who lets you take her car when she at work. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's... Shout out that's, my yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, like Jody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's either one of them. You know, I, right? Hey, look, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that, that's a good shit. That means she believe in, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on. Because yeah, eventually, yeah. I'll buy your own car. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's definitely it's situational, good. though, for sure. Okay, so it's more of a situation. Because I can guarantee you, if I would have, you know, if I had, like, a kid or a family that I was, to, like, leaving the shipyard would have definitely been another story, for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah like, I, mean, I took all that. In, like, I wasn't just somebody that was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to do, like, I... We gotta calculate and, all yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, I did the same thing. Yeah, yeah, being yeah. a financial advisor because I got kids, I got twins, and I got a son in Texas. So I was yeah, like, is, yeah. I had to like map out like what I was gonna do, how I was still gonna do stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, I'm selling merch. I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm oh, doing yeah, everything. Can, yeah. yeah, I'm doing everything I can to like put these little, you know what I'm saying? Oh, put, I pass these little them. ends in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I, I do everything I can. You know what I mean? But it's 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 going. How I expected it to go so far. I don't have no regrets on anything that I'm doing. Me and I mean, I have, yeah. I got full support from everybody in my, you know what I'm saying, in my camp, you know what I'm saying, on my side. So I'm not tripping. I'm just waiting to pay everybody back. That's all. It really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, shit. Uh, did y'all have anything else y'all wanted to say? Or? Uh, follow me on all uh, social media platforms. Sure. Jordy Sam 43 on Instagram and Twitter. On Facebook is at Jordy Sam. YouTube is Jordy Sam. Uh, you can Google me for anything else. On all streaming platforms is Jordy Sam. You can find all my new music, my new mm-hmm. single, 22. Yes, check sir. that out. Check, check out the 420 out. Project. Sure. Get ready to check out the Small City Big Dreams yeah, Volume 3. Right yeah, 29th. Yeah. I got right a video now. dropping on the 29th, too, oh, for one of the singles. Oh, right. too, so oh, check right. that out. That song's on that album. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's on there. Yep. It's going to be on You can hear it. Lose control. Lose control. Lose control. Man. The video is dropping yeah. the same day as the album. Lose control. Yeah, man. So. Uh, shit, man. You can follow. You can follow me everywhere on IG at Vz Music Two One Zero on Twitter at Big Vz Two One Zero. Uh, I deleted my snap because there's too many problems. <laughs> Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Shame, you can just, <laughs> yeah, Facebook, you can just look, search VZ. I'm on all streaming platforms if you search VZ. I got, uh, you know what I'm saying, a, a video on my YouTube right now. You know what I'm saying? VZ, uh, what is it? VZ Music. Uh, VZ Television 210. You know what I'm saying? I got the Nobody video up there. I got singles out streaming. You can find me everywhere, man. Just search VZ and you know, all your streaming platforms. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, at Nick Norton PNW on everything Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. 
I got a YouTube channel. I got a TikTok where I do uh, freestyles and stuff over other people's beats. Mm -hmm. I actually you, just posted a freestyle over one of his the, beats. The duo, the we duo, be doing I it. We be you. doing it. You know, um, you know, it's dope. Just Nick Norton on all streaming. Yeah. And Odyssey is streaming right now, mm -hmm. today. You're watching it. You can hear it. And uh, yeah, yeah, man, we all got albums. Yeah, yeah. We all got some it's all coming. Yeah. Dropping this summer, right? Tap yeah, in yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, speaking of freestyle, see, you, 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 you got anything y'all want? Y'all want to put that? I mean, I need to put a beat on this. You got a beat? I don't know. I don't know, bro. We can. I don't know. <laughs> I can finagle up. Something. We can put some on. We can do it. Yeah. No, you let me drink first. <laughs> Before that, yeah. shout out to Doc Blackwell. Yeah, big shout out, to shout out to Doc Blackwell, the shout mastermind. Out to, uh, shout out to uh, Chris Dean, yeah. you know, Boom House Studio, my boy Jinx. Um, you know what I'm saying? We use your facilities. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Mastermind putting everything together. We Appreciate should be going. Both on, of you guys. We should be going on tour soon. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yo, that's in the works. Yes, coming sir. to a city near you. Yeah. We should be there. I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Until never mind. Don't tell nobody. Yeah, yeah, man. We'll see. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see what I can do. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, what? I mean, what? Y'all yeah, yeah, want to serve beef and shit? Y'all, yeah, Jordy, you got some on your phone? You got some on your phone? Probably not for these guys. These yeah. guys be guarding them. Uh, oh, I thought y'all got something. Yeah, it don't matter. Pull up. Uh... Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice. That's a nice, George. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Hey, thugs, no love. They get the slur. I don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. You got something for this, BZ? I got some for everything, man. Mm -hmm. right, I got you. Well, I got Yo. Oh, you good? No, go ahead. I was okay. saying, I got, not, I got to not cuss. I can't cuss. Oh, no. Okay, all right. I was just making sure. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, yo. It's something you can't explain This villainous vibe Feeling this fire I had to pray Hands to the sky Asking him why Would he pass away Had to get by Cannibalizing About half my brain Smoking this gas I feel like dizzy Right it gets you dizzy Right the city Light spinning Starting off the night Sipping Something venomous With some ice in it No time to waste Every play I make Is the ninth inning Your baby bars Won't compare to ours Or all my written Who the best in the city You tell me But when they see me They like who that be I don't go out enough I'm rounding up My numbers working out For months to nothing but boom bat beats I prepare for this moment Don't declare this an omen The stepchild of the game And they're scared to disown them Look at the gall No, I ain't scared of the Romans I hear the rumor spread its truth When it spares your opponents When it scares your opponents I'm gone Yeah mm. Quick 16 here, you know Quick 16 here, you know So space on the beat? Oh yeah, you Alright yeah, now I got money on the flow, criminal is my intent. Month later in the county, this ain't for my benefit. Looked the judge in the eye and told her I was innocent. Back out on the block, slanging that, that's what I rid of me. You can call me Diddy, cause I'm all about my Benjamins. If any nigga try to touch my paper, I'ma injure him. My flow to shit, call it stack some manure. And yeah, I get cheese, like rats in the sewer. I'm all about the green, I'm a money connoisseur. You say that VZ ain't the hottest nigga, that's a rumor. I'm sick off the brain, matter of fact, I got a tumor. If Papa was a rolling stone, I am just a junior, and I can never lose. I was born to be a winner, so I will take your spot. No, you will not finish your tenure. You see me when I enter. I'm colder than the winter, and I'm a pro in every league. You niggas just beginners. It's mile high money like I'm living out in Denver. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I really don't do Appreciate it, man, for for real, from the bottom real, of my heart. Man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, anytime y'all need me, we gonna hit you I up. Yeah. I would lovely, I would lovely. <laughs> uh, uh, love for y'all to hit me up, man. And, yeah, of course, man. Yeah, you know we we, put, we tapped in now, so already, that is, already, it is what it is. Already, yeah. already well, shit, y'all have a drive back. We finna get about it. They gotta get back to the studio. Yeah, yeah. Thank Bring you for having us. Music. Already, peace.
Hennessy is my enemy But sometimes it's a friend to me It puts me in situations That I shouldn't be in, no Hennessy is my enemy But sometimes it's a friend to me It puts me in situations That I shouldn't be in And I'ma keep pouring my cup Got the bottle turned up They say, what about your level? Middle finger, so what? No fucks, I've been drinking since nine Caught a bus, said she headed to the kickback I don't do no clubs in the lack I'ma ride out Lighters in the glove, in the lack Where the thighs out Pussy look like lunch, like thighs Told her I'ma make it do what it do This Henny got me ready to make a movie with you And I Hennessy know Hennessy is my enemy But sometimes it's a friend to me It puts me in situations That I shouldn't be in, no Hennessy is my enemy But sometimes it's a friend to me It puts me in situations That I shouldn't be in I'ma keep sipping my hand One D, fuck friends I ain't have it for a long time Where was the niggas then? No pretend in my feelings I say shit that I shouldn't have People be mad at me I'm too stubborn to give a fuck I just ignore their calls And go pour me another cup Maybe I should be different to me This shit is regular Mind saying I got this I'm gaining my clarity This shit gotta be toxic It shouldn't be therapy Hennessy is my enemy But sometimes it's a friend to me It puts me in situations That I shouldn't be in, no Hennessy is my enemy But sometimes it's a friend to me It puts me in situations That I shouldn't be in Some links and bring the gold higher. He wanna shoot it, he hot headed, he ghost rider. Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron. Swinging, fork in the glass pot clank. Holding the boat, they ship sinking. I make one brick, two without blinking. They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit. 